Oh. Here we go. Hello fellow fragrance lovers, it's Hila here, Hila Loves Fragrances, and today's video is an unboxing and a review of Mongolan uh, Eau de Parfum. By the way, thank you so much for coming here. If you're new to this channel, welcome, hit the subscribe button. Okay, so let's get into it. So this is an unboxing video. It is not a blind buy because this fragrance Mongolan has got such a, oh, it's such a lovely fragrance. I tried this out at Debenhams before lockdown happened. And I'd gone into town with my husband. We'd split into two groups with my with uh, two of our children because we had things that we had to do with them. And so we're like, we'll get it done faster and pay less parking if we split into two rather than <laughs> going through everything. So I was like, okay, um, if I quickly finish up with what I had to do uh, with uh, the child that I was with, which was buying school shoes from Clark's, I could quickly nip over to Debenhams and try out. I had a list of perfumes that I was trying out based on some recommendations. And I tried this one out. So this was the one that I sniffed on the bottle and I was like, let me try it out. But I could only try one because I was going to be in the car with my husband. And my husband really doesn't like the fragrances. He doesn't, he does find it a little bit overwhelming uh, for the most part. So I was like, I only have to try one. I only get one shot at this today. And so I tried this one. I got into the car and my husband immediately when he got into the car after me, he was like, what's that? I love that smell. That's a really beautiful smell on you. And I was like, oh, it's Mongolan, you know? And every time I've uh, I've worn it, because then I got a sample of it, and every time that I've worn it, he loves it. I, he, he can't keep away from me. He's just like, oh, so this is ultimate femininity in a bottle. And it's just so gorgeous. So I'm just going to spray. Oh, I love it. Even though it was the first one that I tried and it was the one that made me love the House of Galan and subsequently go, out, go on and try different fragrances. It's only the last one that I have bought. So I got the Intense first because I just loved the Intense when I tried it out. It was just so beautiful, smooth, creamy. It, uh, it was so amazing. And then I also got the Eau de Toilette, which is like, it's quite different as well. It's, you know, it's lighter and it's for summer. And so I was like, I need to just get the Holy Trinity. I need to get the three of them together, you know, in my collection. So I got the bigger one. So the reason why I got the travel pack was also because it comes with a small travel pack because I think that it's a perfume that I would want to travel with. And when you're traveling by airplane, you can't carry this with you anymore so i had to go and deal with the times tables question there yeah, because we're still homeschooling kids um don't start school until later okay let's spray this it's got such a beautiful atomizer oh it is so beautiful so so beautiful 
So I'm getting the lavender and the bergamot right at the opening. And so the thing is, right, lavender is very strong in the opening, but it does calm down and it becomes the most comforting, relaxing fragrance ever and it's just so calming but in sort of like a really lovely sensual way to it not quite as creamy sensual as the intense version but oh i just love this the middle notes which sort of come in about half an hour later for me we have iris jasmine sandberg and rose and even though this has got rose in it the rose is not very strong, at least for me. So there are the fragrances that have rose in them that for me, it's like, yeah, this is a rose, like a uh, Trezor Midnight Rose, for example. But the rose in here is a very subdued kind of rose. And it's just, oh, I'm just getting the whiffs of that. So for the base notes, we have Tahitian Vanilla. Um, we also have Tonka Bean, which I think is one of the stronger dominant uh, base notes in the dry down. And then we also have Australian Sandalwood, which I'm not too sure what the difference is between the normal Sandalwood and Australian Sandalwood so far, but it's still, it's got that beautiful, beautiful creaminess. Um, it's got a bit of amber, or no, benzoin. It's got some benzoin, a coumarin, and licorice as well. But they're all so well blended together. It's delicate but firm. It's sensual but calming. And as I said, even my husband likes it. And for me, that's a pretty big deal. If my husband can like a fragrance, then <laughs> I, I'm going to be getting that fragrance, especially if I also like it. So this is the latest addition to my perfume wardrobe, Mongolan. And I knew that I wanted a big bottle of it and a small travel size bottle because I had tried the samples and I tried the other two flankers. And I loved it. And I'm happy now that I have the three of them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do give it a big thumbs up down below. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video when it comes out. And that way YouTube isn't just feeding you what YouTube thinks you ought to be watching. <laughs> so until I see you next time, guys, take care. Bye.